11 Sports, and for the fans, welcomes you to the following presentation of the Simulation Football League. Old evening here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota awaits us. I'm Andy Hanbleton. Joining me in the booth is Gerald Judicessi. Gerald, negative 12 tonight with a wind chill of minus 23. There's no snow on the ground, but the snow may come via an aerial attack between these two teams, Sioux Falls and Mexico City on the slate tonight. And you have the two most prolific Ashes in SFL history and Julian Tyree and Matt Wilson. So we'll see if they can uh, heat this uh, stadium up here with their passing attack. And if you take that space heater again, I think you're going to be mad. Sioux Falls has started out a little bit slow, but here at Little Liberty Park, they look to right their wrongs in season 16 and beat a Mexico City team who at times has looked really good, at times has looked a little shaky. Both these teams have a little bit to prove tonight. Gerald, what do you think the keys will be for Sioux Falls? For Sioux Falls, is they really, really need to cut down on the interceptions. Julian Tyree has seven as opposed to one touchdown. Uh, another key factor is their linebacker, Nick Fargo, really needs to shadow the running back tandem of Phoenix Jones and Ray Bentley and also to get pressure on Matt Wilson just using their front three of Kelly Camp and Crosby. For Mexico City, they also need to avoid the turnover bug. Matt Wilson, 21st in the SFL in interceptions. Can't get greedy here tonight. Colin Hart is a big key that Mexico City will have to defend, and they're going to want to force Sioux Falls to throw on them. And then for the Mexico City offense, we'll get the ball first. The key will be to spread the ball out around through the air We'll get to that a little bit later. The Aztecs wearing white will start with the football. Sioux Falls wearing gray will kick it off. Mexico City at 2-1 will have a return here out to the 23-yard line. And <clears throat> Gerald for Matt Wilson and this offense to come out here tonight. They, uh, they have a sneaky run game. Phoenix Jones' second most touchdowns in the SFL, averaging 4.8 yards per clip. Part of that in... Uh, in due time to their fullback, Ray Bentley, leading the way. Uh, you have the, the uh, Hall of Famer, Ray Bentley, just being a blocker now for Phoenix Jones. Good block indeed to start this game off. Jones rattles off nine on the first play from scrimmage. All right, what a learning tree to learn under is Ray Bentley. Just Ray Bentley, you, like, you talk about career, 2,177 carries, over 10,000 yards. Nine, over 90 touchdowns rushing the football. I mean, what a person to learn from, and he's using that knowledge to become an excellent blocker in the XFL. Wilson to throw. will swing it out to Jones on that right-hand side. Jones has the first down. Not much more than that, and that kind of tells the story of this Aztec offense, Gerald. K.L. Barrett and Highwind combined for 45 catches. And Phoenix Jones, who just caught the pass there, has more catches than Mike Daggs, who only has eight in three games. Which is an absolute shock. I mean, Mike Daggs, one of the most prolific tight ends in the league, only having eight catches for the first three weeks. Bentley carries up the middle, picks up three, and they are going to have some tough sledding against three really good linebackers here in Sioux Falls. Alex Parker, Nick Fargo, as well as Jose Fuentes, along with the defensive line, James Kelly, Jonathan Camp, Cam Frosby, a secondary of John Barnhart, Terrell Davis, Jay Ringgold, Nathan Barnett, and the 11-year veteran, A.J. Levy. Gun straight here for Wilson, three receivers, bottom of your screen. Wilson looking to sling the ball, fires it deep down the middle, incomplete, overshot his target. Yeah, overshot the uh, wide receiver right there. It's going to bring up a third and seven. And this uh, sorry, this Mexico City offense has been struggling at times, especially on a third down conversion. I mean, they're seventh in the league, but they haven't been doing great the last game. 
Five wide here. Mexico City retains four star wide receivers, and Mike Dags the tight end. Wilson to throw, going to fire on the corner route, and it's picked off. Coming back the other way, down the left-hand sideline for Sioux Falls. Will he get cut off? Yes, he will. At the 11, the interception there made by Jay Ringgold really sets this game off. No, excuse me, it's Davis. Davis there with the interception, and Sioux Falls comes up with a big, big turnover early in this football game and puts them in business inside the 15, I believe. And that's something you don't want to give the Sioux Falls, even though they're struggling right now at 0-3. Uh, this, that could be the momentum shift here to maybe get their season back on track. Wilson tried to force it there to Highwind. Highwind and Barrett, the two leading receivers for Mexico City, along with Phoenix Jones. Dave, or excuse me, uh, Tyree out of the backfield on his first throw is good for six yards to the outside to Gunnar Lewis. Tyree, his 11th season in the SFL. Colin Hart is the halfback. Charlemagne Cornelius, the rookie fullback. A.J. Warren, Gunnar Lewis, Al Dillapri Sr., Noe Terrazas, and their guard on the offensive line, Dusty Wilson, round out this Sioux Falls offensive unit. Tyree under center will give Hart. Hart carrying left. Hart walks the dog into the end zone and does the dirty bird. Sioux Falls up 6-0 right off the rip. Uh, doing the dirty sparrows. He gets in the end zone. Colin Hart is usually a really big part of this offense. Came into this league at only 21st in rushing and only 164 yards in three games. But comes up big here. And they come up with a 6 nothing lead early. And that's going to be good here for Julian Tyree's confidence. As we'll get into that later on in this football game. Yeah, well, and hard for a defense of Mexico City to try and close down a run when you only really need 15 yards to get in the end zone. So not indicative of what this game might look like for the Aztecs as the turnover sets up Sioux Falls in great field position to take an early lead here, Gerald. But definitely, they got pressure on Wilson with their front three. Forced, they forced the bad throw on the interception. And Sioux Falls takes advantage of it and takes it to the, at the house for a 7 nothing lead. And that could be a good omen for Sioux Falls, who's right now struggling with points per game. At last, with eight, they're already at seven. Deuce Fennec and Ice McBride, Ike McBride, not Ice McBride, although tonight it uh, it may seem like Ice McBride with the temperature out there. Ike McBride and Deuce Fennec running our stats. The crew from Lone Star helping us out here for Mexico City and Sioux Falls. Andy Hamilton along with Gerald Giudicesi. For those of you who may have tuned in a little late, negative 12 degrees tonight with a negative 23 wind chill. No chance for snow. It's literally too cold for that. Some of these players are not wearing sleeves and i'm gonna have a call with their moms later to let them know that they probably will be getting sick two in the backfield bentley flanks the way for jones they'll flip it out to jones off this right hand side on the screen and levy tracks him down after a pickup of seven another uh veteran player there aj levy coming in fifth overall in tackles in history with 956 might break that 1,000 barrier this year. But again, a nice swing pass to Phoenix Jones here. Get him to second and three. Yeah, and early looks here tonight, Gerald, may be pointing to <clears throat> Mexico City throwing a lot of swing passes. They'll give to Phoenix Jones right up the gut. Jones with a little bit of room Whoa. has the first down before Whoa. getting clobbered. Uh, what a hit there. I looks like John Barnhart, but oh, what a hit. But a first down. Nonetheless, here for Mexico City, trying to come back from that early interception thrown by Matt Wilson. Sioux Falls used to be known for their screen passes. Mexico City trying to utilize it against them here tonight. They'll give to Jones again, and he picks up nothing. Let's run through this Aztecs offense for you. Matt Wilson, the Hall of Famer, 11th season in the SFL. Him and Julian Tyree have battled since back in the day. Phoenix Jones is the halfback. Ray Bentley is the fullback. Nicholas Daggs, Jason Bartley, K.L. Barrett, Fox Highwind are the receiving threats. And the tight end, Mike Daggs, rounds out this offensive unit. 
for Mexico City. Here is Wilson firing on the corner, caught down the left side. K.L. Barrett, his favorite target, is down to the 32. Yeah, K.L. Barrett with his 31st catch of the season. Came in here second in yards with 412, averaging 13.7 a catch and three scores. I mean, that's just the picture perfect pass there. As you see, Cage again up in the air to KL to get that ball up in the air. And it brings up a first down on Sioux Falls side of the field. Someone in the chat wanted to know if this game was being played in a dome. Nope, we are outside in the elements, although it's just more like cold. Wilson scrambles in the pocket, fires across the middle, almost taken away. Sioux Falls had a chance at it. Fuentes deflected it. Yeah, Fuentes, who already had, who had a pick. In last week's game, almost comes up with back-to-back -back weeks with a pick. And it brings up a second and ten here for this uh, Mexico City offense. Trying to respond to that touchdown from Sioux Falls. Second and ten here at the 32. Just under seven minutes to go in the first. The interception on the opening drive for Mexico City results in seven points for the Sioux Falls Sparrows. That is the scoring update for today's game. Jones off to the races, right side. Goodbye, Phoenix Jones. Touchdown, Mexico City Aztecs. He takes it to the crib. Great run there by Phoenix Jones to get them within a point with the extra point pending. As you see again, once again, another great block, as you saw there, by Ray Bentley to open up the hole for him to just juke a little bit to the right, find the open area and basically almost goes untouched in for six. Great, great uh, response there by Mexico City. Phoenix versus the Sparrows, the Battle of the Birds on a very small scale. We have plenty of Battle of the Birds here in the Simulation Football League. Jones gets the better of the Sparrows' defense. Kick up and on the way from Varner, and it is good. Mexico City notches a tie here so far against Sioux Falls. Seven all. Yeah, it's a, that's a big response there. And a, basically a great, great drive there by Matt Wilson, driving them down the field for that touchdown here. Now let's see what uh, Sioux Falls are going to do down here. They're going to have the uh, short field like they had on their first possession of uh, 15 yards. But uh, you never know with the, with the returners that they have on this team. Deep kick is elected to be brought out by Levy. He gets out to the 19, so Mexico City going to flip it a little bit and have great starting field position to take on this Sparrows offense. Let's run through the Aztecs defense. Brock Lee and Skyler Kingsley are the defensive ends. Dan Tritz is a star on this defensive line at tackle. KT Harrell, Ronnie Watson, and Dexter Jackson are the linebackers. Jack Napier, Zaren Pryor. Han Tayumi are the corners. Jeffrey Daggs and Greg Gaines round out the secondary at safety. Tyree to throw on first down. Complete across that right side of the field. A.J. Warren has first down yardage. Great throw there for, Ty for Julian Tyree. Now, Julian Tyree against this Mexico City team. The curse of Mexico City it has been on him. He is one for six in his career. Now, his stats against Mexico City... 212 for 299, 2,003 yards, seven touchdowns. You won't think that's bad in seven games, but in those seven games, he has thrown 23 interceptions in those games. Hand off left side, Colin Hart, huge run out to the 44, and Colin Hart continues to add to the yardage in the top 10 all-time in SFL rushing yards. Yeah, Colin Hart. Coming in, like I said, with only 164 yards, only averaging 3.1 yards a carry so far for the season. And that's below his career average of 6.3, almost half. I think Sioux Falls needs to get him involved a little bit more here in the offense here to hopefully get their first win of the season. Tyree will give Hart again. Left side, Colin Hart with a little bit of room. Hart has first down yardage and is down to the Mexico City. 41, he flips the field. They found something on the left side of the line, and they are definitely exploiting it. Another big, big run here for Colin Hart. Warming up and heating up early here in this game. Staying warm will be key for both of these two teams. 
as they try and battle not only the defense and offense on the field, but also the elements here tonight. Give Hart left side on a little bit of a Whoa. stretch. Ooh, Hart walloped. Big hit there on Colin Hart. Just a, and that's going to be another key here. Hopefully no one, can, no one will get injured if he gets hit by Jeffrey Daggs because that football field is like playing on concrete as being as cold as it is. So hopefully we're not going to see any injuries. Three receivers split out here. Tyree stands in the pocket, fires on a quick out route, caught Warren down the sideline, down to the 19. Sioux Falls moving and shaking. Gerald starting down in their own side of the field. Doesn't seem to be bothering them just yet. No, definitely not. You see great route there and just nobody out there. Luckily for them, luckily for Mexico City, he were one of the two uh, safeties there. Combined on the tackle, but a great, great play call there by the Sioux Falls offensive coordinator just opening up passing lanes for Julian Tyree. Tyree has the most completions, attempts, and yards in simulation football league history. Adds to his total there. And, uh, Gerald, I'll give you one guess. Who is second in completions, attempts, and yards in SFL history? Um, could you be standing on the other sideline? Right now, and, and uh, Matt Wilson, uh, he is on the other oh, sideline. Right. Matt Wilson, ah. I, I don't know if he's standing over there, Gerald, but second oh. in completions, attempts, and yards. Wilson, though, has the better of Tyree in touchdowns. Give Colin Hart right side. Colin Hart touchdown, Sioux Falls, his second of the night, and the Sparrows are back out in front. And yeah, he's opening up something, he's opening up a brewski there. It's definitely going to be cold. But a great, great running here again by Conrad. Watch, watch the offensive line here. Pull it. Yeah, go. Got a great block on the outside by A.J. Warren to spring him. He goes untouched in the end zone for the second time in this first quarter. And Sioux Falls is looking really, really good offensively right now. Colin Hart up to 96 career touchdowns. Came into the game third all time in touchdowns. Full rushing touchdowns, excuse me, adds to that total with another one there and gives the Sparrows another lead. Yeah, and, and that's key right here because these teams are basically almost even with points given up a game defensively and yards and what have you, and they're both in the negative and turnover differential. So that could be a real big key here for Sioux Falls. Uh, the, Take this leader, 14-7, and hopefully keep this momentum going. Well, what I was trying to, to kind of open up there, Gerald, is two great quarterbacks, uh, you know, two guys who have really been here throughout their careers and have shown veteran prowess. Both have played in SFL championship games. Tyree playing in the last two of them. And uh, Matt Wilson has won one of his own in Season 9. Veterans, you know, really looking like the uh, the epitome of a, a Brady and Manning, you know, battle between these two. But tonight so far, it's been their two running backs, Phoenix Jones, as well as uh, Colin Hart, who have kind of led the way. Now, Wilson and Jones will be back up. Ray Bentley in in front of Jones. Here is Wilson. Check down on a little bit of a screen to Jones again, and he picks up seven. Hey, you, you look at the offense and the defense of both teams you're talking about like royalty you have uh the number one kicker all time in cole varner for mexico city the number five rusher in ray bentley and touchdowns to ray bentley you have julian tyree number one in uh passing you have colin hart number three in touchdowns as you mentioned you have aj levy three in touchdown and kick return i mean this is a star-studded lineup on both teams Flip out here, Jones again on the screen, off to the races, down to the 45. For so long, it was Sioux Falls who kind of made the, the screen game part of their, um, you know, their makeup as an offense. But tonight, it's been Mexico City who has utilized it. And that just wide open. It was a great play. Look, it was busted coverage. How you leave Phoenix Jones at alone on a screen pass is beyond me. But they definitely took advantage of it, and they're almost at midfield. Wilson tonight, 5 of 8 for 8.1 yards per attempt. The interception 
dragging down his QPR. He'll throw it again out to Jones off this left side. That time, Sioux Falls was there, read it really well. Well, my keys to the game was linebacker Nick Fargo shadowing either Phoenix Jones or Ray Bentley coming up with that hit for no gain to make it second and 10. The screenplay did not work there. It was read perfectly. Matt Wilson now six of nine. Only one of those completions has gone to someone other than Phoenix Jones, and it was Kale Barrett for 33, the biggest play of the game. Wilson going to fire here. Fires deep down the field. Picked off. Intercepted. Coming back the other way is Fuentes. Fuentes down inside the 20, and he'll get dragged down at the 11-yard line. What a return for the linebacker. Great interception. Fuentes does get his interception right there, and that's a big play again for the Sioux Falls defense. Coming up huge with the interception, and once again, they're going to start inside the 15-yard line of Mexico City. And don't look now, but this game could get out of hand if they don't stop this the uh, turnovers here. Yeah, Aztecs have to be careful. They're putting their defense in some tough situations, too. A defense that has heroes like Dan Tritz, Ronnie Watson, Dexter Jackson, and KT Harrell, but... They've been playing with some short fields here. Hart, left side. Hart threw one. Colin Hart, three touchdowns in a quarter. I don't believe it. That's a natural hat trick if you're a hockey fan here. Just a cold weather reference there. But unbelievable. Just one play to get in the end zone. Colin Hart all around the outside. And again, we got great block. He got a great block there by Charlemagne Cornelius. And then he just puts his shoulder down. Runs over a defender to walk into the end zone. And that that's almost like a game for some people with three touchdowns. Colin Hart has three in the first quarter, and that puts him three away from 100 rushing. Man, there are guys who don't have three touchdowns in their SFL career, and this man just did it in the first quarter. I mean, I, I'm one of them. I, don't have, I, don't, I think I have one touchdown in my SFL career. Gerald, you got any touchdowns? Uh, playing defense, I'm, I'm 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 too big to get any touchdowns. I just uh, I'm basically like a three yard and a cloud of dust kind of guy. So, but <laughs> and he's uh, and he's done this in less than nine minutes. So That's what I'm, yeah. <laughs> so for <laughs> Colin, I mean, just to put some perspective on that, there are guys who have been playing multiple years in the league, never found themselves in the end. I mean, hey, Eddie Gage is one of them, a Hall of Famer at safety. You know, plenty of interceptions, never found his way in the end zone. Colin Hart. Does it three times in a single quarter to give the Sioux Falls Sparrows a 21-7 lead. Return here. There will be a penalty on it. Bartley gets out to the 30-yard line. And like you were saying about the quarterbacks earlier, I was just doing some number crunching here as we see uh, F-62 call here. It looks like it's going to be a, a clip there on the Aztecs, which is going to push them back a little bit there. Dangerfield with the clipping penalty. Uh, listen to these stats for both these quarterbacks combined. 6,957 completions on 9,873 attempts. Combined, 76,743 yards, 526 touchdowns. That is just absolutely ridiculous for these two quarterbacks. Two of the best the league has ever seen, and Wilson will throw it out of the backfield here to Ray Bentley, one of the better backs the SFL has ever seen, playing fullback now, and uh, Gerald has struggled a little bit with that transition. Yeah, struggled a little bit. Not really his uh, stats aren't showing that he's having a good season. It's more off the ball where he's having because he only has, uh, coming into this game, he had less than 100 yards rushing, but he has been a major, major key in the running game here, especially with Phoenix Jones, you can see on that play. Good block there, picks up seven. And it, it's more of the intangibles when you're talking about Ray Bentley, but as you see, he just plugs up the hole and just absolutely put a, just a total good block on uh, Fuentes right there to open up the hole for uh, seven yards, bringing up a third and three, and I think it's a must third down conversion here for Mexico City. Empty backfield, neither Bentley or I think Jones actually might be there in the slot. Here's the throw. It's caught, and who do you guess it is? Mike Daggs, one of his top or first 10 receptions of the season there, Gerald. And, and that's, I, I, to me, it's just 
it's just a misnomer to hear. It's like it's like it can't be true. Ninth his ninth catch of the season, and going into his, going into the fourth game, I gotta get him more involved in this offense. Dags had quite the year last year. Was one of the MVP front runners through 12 weeks. This year, nine catches through. This will be the fourth game. Here is the give right, and Jones will pick up a yard. After two falls, they used to do AJ Levy coming up with the tackle right there. They need to make Phoenix Jones with the gist to the line to maybe spread him out, maybe go have him go laterally a little bit here and have this linebacking core come up here and stop him. Single back in the backfield, three wide here. Wilson on a five-step drop, heaves this one deep. Caught! Mike Daggs in the open field down to the 36. The tight end and Wilson connect for a big one. This has been a great drive right now, and there's no question or to me. There's no question. There's no doubt that you're throwing the ball to Mike Daggs here. You're not throwing the ball to... Basically, your two big receivers, as you said earlier, in uh, KL Barrett and Fox Highwind, get the ball to get the ball, throw the ball to the tight end, as everyone says, usually in the chat. And two big catches on this drive here for Mike Dag. Right over the head of AJ Levy, who's played all 11 seasons that Matt Wilson had. Some of the duels these two have had, I'm sure, are uh, legendary. Four wide here for Wilson. Wilson going to take a shot on the corner route. Oh, beautifully wow. thrown to the outside shoulder. Wow, that just goes to show you what Matt Wilson can do if he has time in the right pocket. Finding Fox Highwind down to the 15. I have no idea how that ball got there. It was just absolute perfect coverage by Terrell Davis as we come to a quick first quarter ending. 11 minutes in the books. Sioux Falls up 21 to 7. Three more quarters to go. The Simulation Football League. I'm Andy Hamilton, Gerald Giudicesi, and let's get this second quarter underway. Phoenix Jones, nine yards a clip on six carries, has a couple receptions to add to. Three receivers here for Wilson. Wilson looking to throw, fires for Dags, caught nine yard pickup. They had Jason Bartley underneath, but this is where Mike Daggs has absolutely made his career. 44 uh, receiving touchdowns coming into this for his career. This is where he can just make this area from the inside the 10 his office. Two in the backfield. They'll give Jones. Jones through one. Jones! Hard running gets down to the one yard line before they clatter him, and now they'll have first and goal from three or from three feet away. First and goal, like you said, from three feet. I think this is, even though it's in the second quarter, I think this is going to be four down territory here because your defense has yet to stop Sioux Falls. Split backs here, Dags on the top of the line. They are going to throw it. Here's the flip out. Ray Bentley in for the score. Touchdown, Aztecs. Oh, my. What a play call. Just leaving Bentley just out there. Mike Wilson, this is the easiest touchdown pass he could ever have. As you see, all the lot, everybody just went to the middle of the field, and you can't leave Ray Bentley that wide open. He could have hop, skipped, and jumped his way into that end zone. Great, great response from Mexico City to combat the second Matt Wilson uh, interception that went in for a touchdown. So uh, here we go. It's going to be a seven-point game. 18th receiving touchdown for the old man. Get this, Gerald. He is he has the third most receiving touchdowns on this Aztec team. KL Barrett is first with 68. Dags has 44. And then it's Ray Bentley now with his 18th touchdown. Up next is Jones with or excuse me, up next is Highwind with nine. So Bentley not uh, not adverse to catching the ball, usually from the halfback position, but he finds his way into the end zone, a familiar place for him. A 109th touchdown for uh, Ray Bentley in his career. Just an absolute overall fantastic player. Return here from Levy. Fumbled it. Fumble ball on the ground. Who's going to come away with it? Mexico City has it. The Aztecs turn the tide. It's Derek Nogger. There is the key that they, the turnover that they needed. As you see, A.J. Levy. We have two of the greatest returners in this game as well, but a big hit there. 
I uh, looked like the uh, inside linebacker there, uh, Zach Daggs, but Zach comes Daggs. up with the fumble. Unbelievable. This game is just turned on a dime here. If Wilson can get them in the end zone here, we're going to have a tie ball game. Not Jeffrey, not Nicholas, not Mike. Zach Daggs forces the fumble, and Mexico City takes over here at the 22. Wilson straight to the end zone. Caught a yard short. Oh, what a tackle to deny the end zone to Nicholas Daggs. <laughs> right now, the Daggs are coming alive right now. Zach on the defense in this time. It's oh, Kennedy. it's close. So close. He's like two inches away, but they are – Less than a less than 12 inches away here from getting this tie score here. Who do you give it to? Do you give it to Bentley or do you give it to Phoenix? Jay Ringold, a huge hit to deny the end zone. Two in the backfield. They give Phoenix Jones right side touchdown, Mexico City. Just like that, with a snap of the fingers, the Aztecs have almost tied this up. They can do so with the extra point. Once again, did you see the block right there? As it looks like the defense is putting Fargo as a shadow on each one of these defenders. But Ray Bentley comes up and absolutely stuffs the hole with him coming up. It just gives him, uh, gives Phoenix a nice little clear way to the end zone here. Wow, what a start of this football game. Gerald, less than two minutes ago at the start of the second, it was 21 to 7. Sioux Falls on top. Now with 9.16 to go in the second, the Aztecs, by way of fumble recovery, some big throws, big catches. Mike Daggs getting a couple of them. A forced fumble by another Daggs. A huge catch by another Daggs. It is now 21 all. This is the type of game you can't look away from for only a minute. Definitely not. We've only played, we've played less than 13 minutes in this football game. And if you look to the right side of the screen, we're already over the over-under. And Levy, oh, almost had to cut you off there, Gerald, because Levy was threatening to take that one to the crib. That's exactly why I stopped talking, because with these two returners, you can never underestimate a kickoff return. But like I was saying, 42 points already in less than 13 minutes of football, and the over-under was 41 and a half. Jack's data setting the over-under off on this one, but we still love him. First and 10 for Sioux Falls. Tyree gives Colin Hart. Colin Hart still on his feet. Hart smacked in the mouth at the 45. This is going to be which offense is going to have the ball last. Hopefully the scoreboard doesn't short out here the way we're going. But look at the hole there. and Just look at him run. Look at him just run over KT Horrell right there. Oh, just putting the shoulder down and takes a hit at the end, but not before he delivers one and gets our first down. Wow. These running backs going off to veteran quarterbacks who know how to sling the ball too. This has all the makings to be a shootout here. Tyree. Three of three will throw for the fourth time tonight. Fires and a completion again. Still perfect on the evening. Able to find A.J. Warren down to the 39. That was a heck of a catch. The ball away from his body. Watch this catch, ladies and gentlemen. He just he has to reach out all the way, just almost, almost parallel to the ground. Brings and hauls that one in for a first down. This has been an amazing game already. And we still have two and over half quarters to go. It's twins down to the bottom of the screen. Hart offset to the left. They will give it to him, taking it off this left-hand side. He is wrapped up and dropped there by Jeffrey Daggs. Jeffrey Daggs comes up here with a tackle, but not for a seven-yard gain for Colin Hart. And last week, we had a game that finished, what, 54-44? I believe, and this might be one of the highest scoring games of the season. Yeah, if you want a good game, you just get Andy and Gerald on the call. Two receivers top of the screen, Tyree under center. Hart, they'll feed him again. Off this right side, Colin Hart with blocks. Colin Hart still moving the legs, gets out to the 19. Unbelievable, averaging 9.8 yards of carry and just running over defenders, carrying defenders with him. 
I usually see some great blocks. Another great block coming up there. I show him and he just runs through the tackle of Greg Gaines and gets another first down. And both of these offenses have come to play. 10 carries, 101 yards, and three touchdowns for Colin Hart. Still early in the second. He takes another one up the middle, and he's picked up. Eight. He's down to the eight again. Another first down carry, 10 yards a clip. Hey, you can keep doing that. Keep having the ball off there. Colin Hart wearing that number 22, doing his best. Emma Smith impersonation. Puts his head down and just looked for the contact. Didn't, you know, not shying away from it. Put his head down to deliver the hit, not have the defenders give him the hit. Man, what a what a display by both of these running backs so far this first half. Three receivers wide, Tyree under center, Hart the lone back, no fullback out on the field. 3-3 three, three look for Mexico City. Tyree, stand to the pocket, delivers, back in the end zone, caught. Toe tap, touchdown, A.J. Warren, his fourth catch of the night, and that one is good for six. Unbelievable, that guy, that guy just... Go look at that. Concentration on the football and to get his feet down right by the back of the end zone. And Julian Tyree, five for five so far in the first half with a touchdown pass to A.J. Warren here. First uh, touchdown, I believe that's not by a running back. That is correct, Gerald. Good, good eye there. Our stats team keeping us honest. Ike McBride along with Deuce Fennec doing the work of many. I am not great at math, so I am very glad to have our statisticians keeping us honest. And speaking of quick math, who falls up seven points over the Mexico City Aztecs, and they will kick it back. Who falls has yet to attempt a third down in this game so far. And that kick is deep and will be kneeled, and Mexico City's offense will come back out. They incorporated Mike Daggs on that on one of the last two drives there, Gerald. I'd like to see more of that. Oh, definitely. And I don't think there was any uh, coincidence that they got Mike Daggs involved in the offense, and they went right down the field to score. Mike Daggs is a huge target for this uh, Mexico City Aztecs offense. Five wide here. Wilson taking a deep shot in the corner route. Caught K.L. Barrett down to the 47. He was open. And that's why you throw it to Daggs across the middle because you'll let him have that one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And K.L. Barrett wins that battle. You see he got behind the defense right there. Got behind the cornerback, John Barnhart. And right there, just flips the field. They're all they're just before uh, the midfield stripe here. Already are cooking on offense. Two backs in the backfield. Bentley to the left. They'll give to Phoenix Jones, and Jones picks up a couple. It'll be second and eight at the forty-nine. Alex Parker coming up there on the tackle, and that's another thing. If you get if you decide to just sit back and and try to stop Matt Wilson in the pass. You have Phoenix Jones and Ray Bentley here that could just kill you. So it's pick your poison here with this Mexico City offense. Tight bunch. Single back is Jones. Wilson under center against a 4-2 look out of Sioux Falls. Quick throw. Oh! <laughs> Nearly was taken away by Nick Fargo. The track race would have been on for him. He would have been done. Nick Fargo, again, just being around the ball. And it looked like he just read... Uh, Wilson's eyes right there is the intended target. Looked like it was going to be Kale Barrett. But that, like you said, that would have been a foot race there to the end zone. Luckily for Mexico City, he could not hold on to the football. Five wide here, third and eight. Need to get down uh, inside the 43-yard line of Sioux Falls. Wilson stands in the pocket, going to fire deep down the middle. Caught K.L. Barrett down to the 24. If you were looking away, don't do that again. K.L. Barrett strikes. As you see, <laughs> Matt Wilson, 15-20 for over 200 yards in the first half. Like you said, 
don't look away. You see wide open there. There wasn't a gray shirt in the area. And don't look now, but, <laughs> but they're driving down the field once again. Five ten to go here in the second quarter of play. Bunch formation to the bottom. Sioux Falls going to play bump man out of it. Single back is Phoenix Jones. Wilson three-step drop. Quick slant caught there on the outside. That is good for nine yards to the tight end, Mike Daggs. I love that play with Mike Daggs. That just that big frame can just give Matt Wilson such an area to throw the football. That's pretty much unstoppable. If you just you know, incorporate that more, especially using him as a decoy, man, this defense will be in trouble. Heavy formation. They're going to throw the screen out of it. Jones with room down that left sideline. Stiff arm. Jones out at the one. Oh, man, he was rumbling. And he had the big lineman out there just leading the way as Look he just stiff runs. Arm. Oh, that's an, another stiff arm there. As it's just an amazing power display right now by both these running backs. But on this drive, it's Phoenix Jones. Mexico City third time within two yards of the touchdown. They've scored twice. Sioux Falls trying to get a stop here. Give right up the middle. Jones still running. Jones forward and across the pylon. Touchdown, Phoenix Jones. Touchdown, Mexico City. He ties Colin Hart with three scores tonight. Unbelievable run there. Was absolutely just stopped behind the line, but just kept those legs churning to get that yard, to get it across the plane. And don't look now, if you, like you said, if you blink, you missed it. Right now, they're an extra point away from tying this game at 28. These two teams fighting hard. Both running backs putting on a show tonight with veteran quarterbacks who can sling the ball all over the yard. And Cole Varner will come on. Extra point is up and through, and it is 28 all, Gerald. Right back to zeros, huh? Yeah, might as well. well just just start over here and we'll just start the over to kick off again roll the drone footage please but uh this is an amazing offensive show by both of these teams and these teams giving up are giving up 23 and 27 points a game respectively uh you guys are in trouble Kick is away. Return here for Levy will be out to the 24. He fumbled one, had a good return another time, and now they will get set up at the 24-yard line with 412, but it's really been the Colin Hart story over 110 yards already. Uh, averaging just over 10 yards a carry with a long of 16. Think about that. He's averaging 10 yards a carry, and the, the longest is barely over that. They feed him again. Right side with blockers. Hart has another first down. Picks up nine right in front of Ramos Lynn, who I got to commend is wearing the short sleeves in the cold tonight. Oh, yeah. If you're wearing short sleeves in this in this, uh, in this this cold weather, you're more of a man than I am. I mean, I love the cold weather. I'm probably wearing shorts, but uh, just uh, amazing, amazing resiliency by these players. But another ho-hum 11-yard run for... Uh, Colin Hart, first down. It's crazy to think that he has three touchdowns on 12 attempts, and they're still only tied at zero. They'll give it to him again off this right side. First down yardage again out to the 47. And you also got to give credit to the guard there, Dusty Wilson, along with Charlemagne Cornelius, for springing some of these runs. I mean, Cornelius has yet to... Uh... Supposedly make a mark on this game on the stat sheet, but has absolutely opened up major holes for Colin Hart. Here is Tyree to throw. Tyree slings out of the backfield. Oh! Oh! Welcome to the game, young fella. Cornelius blown up at the 48. Maybe he doesn't want to be put on the stat sheet after that hit. Oh, wow. What a smack there. And of course, look who it is. Jeffrey Daggs comes up and just lays the lumber down on Charlemagne Cornelius. 
Two backs offset to the right. Tyree to throw again. Stand to the pocket. Fires complete. A.J. Warren down to the 42. And Julian Tyree now six for six. Six for six. I'm starting to worry that they're targeting Warren a lot. We have yet to hear from the tight end, no Terrazas, or the wide receiver, Al Dillapree Sr. Be careful if you keep throwing at one, at one target. They're going to catch on that, and that can end up in a pick. Three receivers wide. Tyree on a five-step drop fires, and his first in completion. The deflection is made there by Zaren Pryor. Zaren Pryor, and look what happened. That could have been a pick, and they were going to A.J. Warren. I almost predicted it. You can't can, can keep throwing to one receiver because the defense will read it, and that could have been a pick. It's been some of the trouble there for Mexico City with K.L. Barrett is kind of targeting the same receiver. They did switch out of that. They've completed to Dags, Highwind, and the Nicholas Dags as well. Tyree all day to throw this one. Pressure coming, and it's the rookie who slings home Dan Tritz with one of the best games a rookie has seen all season. Adds another sack to his year. His eighth sack of the season already early in this season and his i believe it's his 10th tackle for a loss absolutely an amazing start for his rookie season that will take us to the two minute warning 28 points all two minutes to go here in the second quarter still a whole second half of action following the end of this first half Four wide here, third and a country mile for Julian Tyree. 3-3 three, three look out of Mexico City. Here is Tyree. Pumps once, fires. Tipped away. Incomplete. Aztecs. Dexter Jackson gets a hand to it. Yeah, looking for Dillapree for the first time in this game. And ladies and gentlemen, as Max Holt comes up on the field, you are looking at the first punt of this football game with a minute 57 to go. Max Holt on to kick this one away. He will stand at the 48, fourth and 16. Aztecs defense coming up with a stop. They are going to come after this one. They don't get to it. And Dags will have to abandon, or excuse me, Bartley will abandon the return, but it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Have this, both of these returners in Levy and Jeffrey Daggs, you're talking about one, two players of only five in the history of the league with a combined 10-plus kick-slash-punt return touchdown. Levy has 11, Daggs has 12. 3-4 look out of Sioux Falls defense, two in the backfield for the Aztecs. Give Phoenix Jones, Jones through the middle, Jones with a block, Phoenix Jones off to the races, Jones down past the 30, the 20. They're trying to run him down, and they will. Down to the two. Phoenix Jones rumbling for the Aztecs. Wow, great touchdown, save and tackle there. The catch him from behind from Barnard and Ringle. What a 78-yard run here by Phoenix Jones, and just like that, they put Mexico City on the doorstep to take the lead. Aztecs inside the three-yard line for the fourth time this evening. Wilson under center will throw. Going to flip it out to Jones. Jones dropped in the backfield. He'll lose three. Great, great defense there to make that pass spread out more and more to the sidelines. Basically using the sideline as a 12th man. But a great stop there. Makes it second and goal at the four. He'll throw again. Here's Wilson. Fires out to Ray Bentley. Bentley will pick up two. No further than that. And the veteran gets out of bounds to stop the clock to save a timeout in case they want to use middle of the field or try to run the football into the end zone here. Third and goal at the two. Uh, if, you're, if you're Mexico City, uh, to me, it's either... Phoenix Jones up the gut, or if you have Mike Daggs in, just a nice little uh, out route along the, along the goal line. 
Two in the backfield. They give. It's Ray Bentley. No, it's Jones up the middle. Fourth of the night. Third on the ground for Jones. And Colin Hart's three touchdowns look mediocre in comparison to the night that Phoenix is having. Wow. Unbelievable. That was the Phoenix Jones show. A four-play 80-yard drive. Heck, he got the first 78 yards of it. Might as well get the last two. And it is now 35-28. This is the first lead of the night for Mexico City. I, wow. What else can you say? How would you like to be Colin Hart? Right now, 13 carries for 135 yards and three scores. And right now, you're the second best running back in the game. <laughs> Phoenix Jones, 11 carries for a buck 44 and three scores along with eight receptions for 45 yards and a score. I mean... AJ, AJ Levy out to the 24. Yeah, both... Both backs are having incredible nights, and the, the the worst part is we're only a half in, so you have to imagine that one of them is going to at least have some second half of note, right? Like, neither of them will go away. Oh, I mean, both both are... Colin Hart's averaging 10.4 yards a carry. Peter Jones is averaging 13-1. <laughs> they will give Hart left side Colin Hart will get dragged down from behind. Dan Tritz right there again. Talk about this rookie, Gerald. I mean, this guy's everywhere. Coming into this game, he had 11 tackles. Nine of those tackles were for losses. In this game, he has three tackles, two for losses. So out of 14 total tackles, 11 have been behind the line of scrimmage to go along with eight sacks. Wow. Tyree to throw again. Tritz pressures him, and it's caught. Wow, what a completion to Gunnar Lewis. That's just veteran poise right there. Just staying in the pocket, knowing that Tritz was just bearing down on him Ooh. and just stands there and delivers a great what? Oh, that was a great shot to show him how well he stood in the pocket. That will take us to the end of the first half. 35-28. Mexico City holding the lead for the moment. And, uh, Gerald, it has been one for the ages. I mean, plenty of highlights to go through here. Oh, but Cam has such a hard time in the track. Now, just the, all just the scoring plays, let alone here, as we look at the stats, you see 600 yards of offense in this first half. You see the two turnovers for Mexico City, believe it or not, really isn't hurting them as they have the 35-28 lead. But, I mean, these stats are amazing. Uh, Julian Tyree, 8 of 10 for 89 yards in that one touchdown pass to A.J. Warren. Colin Hart, 14 carries for 134 yards that last run, knocking him under the 10 yards at carry mark as you see one of the three touchdowns by Colin Hart right there on your screen. Mexico City. Matt Wilson, 20 of 25. Both quarterbacks throwing at 80%. 236 yards, two touchdowns, and the two interceptions. Uh, Kale Barry, leading receiver here. Mexico City, uh, three catches for 87 yards. Phoenix Jones, 11 carries for a buck 44. Uh, a 78 yard run helped there at the end of the first half. He has 19 touches, and he's at 189 yards. Uh, Dan Tritz has the only sack of the game. Uh, both of them, there's only been five third down attempts so far. Uh, Mexico City three for four, and Sioux Falls 0 for one. So, for me right now, it's going to be whoever has the ball last here, because neither one of these defenses seems like they can stop the offense. Yeah, and, and I think that is the key, really, is right. In games like this, you look at the numbers and you think, wow. You know, these offenses have really gone off. And, and, you know, where is the defense? But the question is more, Gerald, which defense can make the stop when it counts, right? Because Mexico City that has that one stop to force Sioux Falls to punt. But that, that really is the difference between the game, right? So 
you know, when you look at this second half with it being such a tight game, when it really, in games like this, it really comes down to which team can get a couple of stops, right? That's all it is. Yeah, basically, or just that one, that one play. I mean, it could come down to just like a pass deflection, a block punt, maybe a punt return for a touchdown. It's just going to be that one play that could turn this game on its head. And it could be a defensive stop, defensive breakdown, a turnover. Like you said, it's just it's just one set of plays that can just create just totally turn this game on its head. As you see with that last run by Phoenix Jones, that's the run that gave Mexico City the lead. Yeah, it's a game of inches, and wow, I, I mean, Mexico City has a slight edge, but you know, ever so slight. Um, and that's why this second half will be so exciting. If the rest of your guys' locker room is not here watching this simulation football league game, you're going to want to get them here because this is one that you may be writing home about with how uh, how good and exciting it is at come the end of it. Isn't that right, Gerald? Oh, if, if, you, if you like offense, if you like great plays, you've come to the right place. Another interesting stat, 24 first downs combined in the first half of play. I mean, great plays on, and even defensive plays. Even though we wouldn't say, you wouldn't say defensive plays in a 35-28 ball game. There have been some great tackles and some great plays. It's just those big plays that are killing both of these clubs. Sioux Falls will get the ball to start this second half, which is even more interesting, Gerald. With a one-score lead, the Aztecs' defense is going to come out and try and adjust to what Sioux Falls was doing, which really was pounding Colin Hart, so the Aztecs looking for some run defense. They're lined up in a 3-3 here to start this third quarter of action. The give is right up the middle. That is actually to the fullback, uh, Charlemagne Cornelius, and he picks up three. Charlemagne Cornelius coming up with, with a carry there for three yards. As you see Dexter Jackson, outside linebacker, coming up with his first tackle of the football game. I think they're going to really need to rest Colin Hart because Colin Hart's been taking some punishment here running in between the tackles like he's been. Three or three backs in the backfield, one receiver wide, 3-3 three, three look out of the Aztecs. That spells trouble. Colin Hart off this left side with room. Colin Hart into the secondary. He's out to the 34. First down as Jeffrey Daggs was holding on for dear life. If he would have not, if he'd have broke through that tackle, he probably still would have been calling the play. You see, look on the outside, just breaks in. You got another great block there by uh, King Charlemagne, as I like to call him. But a uh, great block to get into the outside. They seem to be having a lot of success running to the left side of their offensive line. And it shows right there for the great first down run. That the 11th first down gain for the Sparrows tonight. Tyree on a little sneak will get a yard. That is something I would really like to see more of in this game. Julian Tyree, one of the, if not premier running quarterbacks in this league, he can break one off on one of those quarterback draws, and that that could be one of those plays that we were mentioning that could turn this game on its head. 3-3 three, three look again for Mexico City. Give left side Colin Hart. Hart wrapped up by the one man over there, Han Tayumi, who closed down on the ball. Five season vet coming into this with his the 300 tackles as 302 now for his career is also a great uh, interceptor of the football with 33. So it's going to be a big third and 10 here for the state uh, for the Sioux Falls offense. Need to get out to the 45 to move the chains. Tyree looking to throw. Tyree fires, caught, complete for first down yardage. Down to the 49. Get this, Gerald. That was only their second third down attempt all game. Yeah, the first one was the third and 16. And this one, he just finds a hole. Hits Alex, hits Gunnar Lewis in that hole in that secondary. Perfectly thrown football by Julian Tyree. And, the, and they keep the drive alive just on Mexico City side of the 50. This 3-3 for the Aztecs has not stopped the run at all. I don't know if they have anything heavier in their playbook, but Colin Hart tears the 3-3 up for eight yards again. Great, great observation there, Andy. That 3-3 is where Colin Hart's been getting a lot of his yards. 
especially when he gets it to the outside the tackle box there, it just seems like he can make that first guy miss or just or stiff arm or hit that first guy at the three or four yard mark and can gain four or five more yards. Two in the backfield, Hart the fullback. Charlemagne in front of him. Tritz runs him down from the backside. I mean, that the the impact of Dan Tritz so far, this game alone, Gerald, much less his other games this season, it, it's on an Aaron Donald level as a rookie. Oh, in, indeed. I mean, that's just a great tackle there. Catching Colin Hart from behind the third and two, he's having an amazing rookie year. Reminds me a lot of Alex Dominguez back in the day. Give... Hart left side with blockers. Colin Hart, open field down to the 24, but back to Tritz. Just reminds me of the impact that Alex Dominguez had in his first couple of years, just blowing by offensive linemen and making huge plays for that uh, then Alaska Storm defense. And Tritz is doing something similar here for Mexico City. Well, if, if you're Dan Tritz, you love to be uh, put in the same breath as Alex Dominguez. Just a uh, Great, great defensive player in the SFL history, and uh, Dan Tritch is definitely on that trajectory. Hart, right side, will get bottled up, and it'll all, I think, for all the rookies, and they have another good one at linebacker who I, I think is a great player in Ronnie Watson. I think a lot of it, Gerald, for a lot of these rookies just comes down to A, uh, consistency, right? But B, longevity. I, I think for Dan Tritz, if he can continue to play at this level for such a for a long period of time, he can be up there with those players. Uh, but you got to be consistent and you got to be dedicated. Oh, I agree. It, it, it's just it is a big part of this game, no matter what side of the ball you're on. Speaking of consistent, Colin Hart takes his 20th carry up to the 14-yard line, 8.5 yards per carry. He has been consistently good tonight. Oh, um, except for that one tackle behind the line of scrimmage by uh, Dan Tritz, his, his runs have been absolutely amazing. Third and a yard, give right side hard. That's the tackle that Mexico City wants and needed, and it's made there by Skylar Kingsley. Skylar Kingsley comes up with a big stop, just knifing through the offensive line. A third and one, you'd think that'd be an easy pickup the way uh, Sioux Falls has been running the football here. But they're going to be settling for a field goal here. And with Mexico City scoring touchdowns, trading threes for sevens are not good. Yeah, Maxwell Falk on to kick this one. Kick is up and on the way, and it is through from 33 yards. And now that cuts the lead to just four. But, Gerald, that feels like a win for the Mexico City defense, despite it being the longest drive of the game for Sioux Falls. Oh, I agree. That's definitely a win, even though, like you said, it, it resulted in three points. It's one of the few, uh, one of the the few uh, mistakes there by Sioux Falls in this game, as to not punch that in. Yeah, it was a twelve yard or twelve play, sixty two yard drive, and now Bartley will bring this return out for Mexico City out to the. 21-yard line where they will start first and 10. They're, I think there's their first drive of the second half, Gerald. Yes, uh, the the uh, two falls just absolutely dominated. They had the ball for more than half, well, exactly half of the, of the uh, third quarter here with five and a half remaining. But, uh, let's see if, if Mexico City can come back and uh, maybe extend their lead by seven or even more. Shotgun look, here's Wilson, complete to Barrett out to the 37-yard line, over 100 tonight for Barrett. And uh, looked like the uh, back judge looked like he was going to be the receiver on that on that throw. As you see, he's going across the middle, and just, just a great throw there. Just everybody just behind uh, Hale Barrett right there. As you said, over 100 yards for the game, and... This is the first time Mexico City's had the ball. Uh, the last 14 plays went to Sioux Falls before that uh, that pass play. Two in the backfield here. Here is Wilson going to throw outside to Bentley. Ray Bentley with a lot of room. He has first down yardage, and he's into Sparrow's territory down to the 48. Veteran move. 
if you if you watch this play like like in games prior, the guy the the running back would actually or the wide receiver that's on that screen would have such momentum that it would take him out of bounds. He just gathered himself, caught the ball, gathered himself for that one split second, and was able to turn his shoulders upfield to get that first down and some extra yards. Bump man against a five wide. Watch the two inside receivers who are playing linebackers here. Wilson walks into the pressure, and down he goes. The Sparrows get to him. It's Jonathan Camp. Jonathan Camp gets on the scoreboard here with who falls his first sack of the game. He just walked right into him. And there was just no, there was nowhere for Wilson to throw the football. And he ate the sack to bring up second and 16. Four wide. I think that's Mike Daggs in the front of the bunch there. Single back is Phoenix Jones. Wilson under center here. Here is Wilson to throw. Fires sliding. Catch made by Mike Daggs. How is that not a late hit? That was the latest hit I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know what the refs are looking at. But Mike Daggs was actually held up coming in right here, as you see. Right there by number 92, uh, Nick Fargo got away with maybe a little bit of a pass interference. It got away with two pass. That could have been pass interference and a late hit, but no True. yellow flags were thrown. Yellow flags must be frozen to the ref's hip, hip pocket. Flip out to Jones here. He'll pick up a couple, but not enough for the first down yardage, and Mexico City is stopped by this Sparrows defense. If you're Mexico City, it's your fourth and one. You're up four. You go for it here. Offense still out on the field here from the 39. They're in Sparrow's territory, so could always think about it. Two in the backfield. This is a running formation for them. Bentley in front. Jones in the backfield. Sparrow's trying to stay on side. They don't. They jump off side, and Phoenix Jones has more than that. Jones, first down there to the 30. They'll probably decline this. Oh, they'll definitely decline it, and... If you're Sioux Falls, you can't afford to make that mistake and give them a free first down as James Kelly, the defensive end, makes the, a cardinal mistake. And the, what can you say about the veteran Matt Wilson brings the, brings the troops to the line and gets the offensive line, the defensive line, excuse me, of Sioux Falls to jump off sides, gives them a free play and a first down. Yeah, and in a four-point game like this, that could be the difference between in a win and a loss for the Sparrows, depending on how the rest of this game goes. Wilson looking to sling it. Pressure coming, and he's gobbled up in the backfield. Dropped by Sioux Falls. They bring the pressure, and Cam Frosby gets to him. Cam Frosby gets a second sack for Sioux Falls on this drive, and I believe a long time there was number, uh, James Kelly, number 90, who was basically guilty of that uh, offside penalty earlier with a big loss of eight. Drops him back out of field goal range. 3-3 three, three look here out of Sioux Falls. Five wide for Mexico City. Sparrows playing deep ball, trying to defend the sticks. Wilson with a five-step drop pressure coming. Has to unload underneath, and it is good for five or six yards there. And that will set up third and 13. Backup wide receiver Shelby Calvi right there on the reception, but brings up third and 13. If you're Mexico City, you, you can't go for the first down here, but if you throw it short and try to have your player get the first down, you're putting in field goal range anyway. It'll just match the field goal attempt as you fall. Wilson, at. deep shot caught. KL Barrett to the one yard line again. It's just Matt Wilson being Matt Wilson. Back there, he has time to throw the football and absolutely puts it on the dot to KL Barrett. And right now, they're at the one looking to put them up by more than 10 here. If you're Sioux Falls, you need to find a stop somehow. Two backs in the backfield. Ray Bentley right in front of Phoenix Jones. Wilson will look to sling this one. Toss out to Jones. No, not going to get there. Nick Fargo has seen enough of that play. Nick Fargo has definitely seen enough of that play and has been basically been, like I said in, earlier in the game, basically been a shadow on Phoenix Jones and Ray Bentley, more so 
on Phoenix Jones, but that was a great stop by Mr. Fargo there on first and goal. Here's the give, Jones. No, denied again. It'll be third and goal. This could be a big stand here for this Sioux Falls defense. If they can hold Mexico City to three points here, that would definitely be a victory here for the Sparrows. A big third down here for Mexico City and for Sioux Falls. Two in the backfield, offset towards that right-hand side. Here is Wilson under pressure, fires out to Bentley. It's deflected and incomplete. Sioux Falls comes up when the with the play when they need it most, and the Sparrows have a goal line stand and get off the field. Looked like the backup linebacker Briggs Barkowski with the stop, and that was a huge, huge play for the Sioux Falls Sparrows defense. Actually making up for that offsize jump here, and only will keep this to a seven-point football game. Cole Varner on for the chip shot field goal. This one is up and good from 18 yards away. Varner looking around for it, but uh, probably didn't need to, and the lead is back at seven. <laughs> this has been a tale of two games right now. The first half, there were 13 drives. There's only been two drives. And there's 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. <laughs> Kick is away from Varner, and they will take a knee there in the end zone. Visit the all-new SFL League website at www.simulationfl.net for info on how to create a player, how to join our community, the league, and the teams that play in it. Links to apparel, helmets, and a comprehensive history of the SFL it's over 1,400 games and thousands of players who have hit the virtual field, the SFL. We put the fan in fantasy. 69 total points tonight, 26 seconds to go in the third. Tyree flips, and it's knocked down incomplete. Mexico City was ready for that one. KT Harrell with the deflection. KT Harrell with a great, great defensive play right there. And that the new long drive of the game. Thank you for the stats, Truck. Uh... Mexico City had a 13-play, 77-yard drive with a field goal. So the last two drives, 25 plays, 139 yards, and ends up in six points. Three in the backfield, 3-3 three, three look out of Mexico City. Here is the give left side, Colin Hart. Hart will pick up four, nothing more than that. Great defense there by Mexico City, as usually on that left, the left side of the line, Colin Hart is usually going to be able to being able to get outside that, that last block and be able to go up the sidelines. This time, the Mexico City forced him to cut him back inside. Big third down away to the Sioux Falls Sparrows. They are down 31-38 to the Mexico City Aztecs here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. A fourth quarter away. Get your fours up in the chat. Gun split twins here for Sioux Falls. 3-3 look out of Mexico City. They only bring three. Tyree down the field, picked off. Mexico City's Jeffrey Daggs has the interception. At a pivotal time, the Daggs show up and make a play. Big time play there by Jeffrey Daggs. Comes down with his 50th career interception. Congratulations on that milestone for... Jeffrey Daggs, and that's the first uh, interception thrown by Julian Tyree in this game. Now, both clubs with two turnovers. So that could be the key right. play right here. And Sioux Falls defense make another stand here and only hold them to three or possibly create a turnover. Everyone put their fours up in the chat. It was almost like they were telling me that 44 was going to pick it off. Jeffrey Daggs takes it away here at the Sioux Falls 29 in Mexico City is going to look to try and convert. Here is the give up to Phoenix Jones. Jones forward for four. And now this is where Phoenix Jones becomes a big, big part of this offense. If you can just whittle this clock down, maybe get only you get one first down. If you don't get a touchdown, just run the clock off here. Make it like six minutes to go, seven minutes to go. It can make it really tough for the Sioux Falls offense. 
Empty backfield here. Jones not out on the field. Here's Wilson. Fires. Mike Daggs can't hold on. Ooh, dropped. I don't know if that was a drop or if he was just separated from the football. But uh, that Wilson just threw it up in the air. He absolutely got hammered here. I just see him just extending his arms. And then the big number 91, Alex Parker, just drives his shoulder into the midsection. And I think that ball was just knocked away. That can't be a drop. No, Mike Daggs took a big hit. Mike Daggs, a little slow to get up. We'll have to keep an eye on him, see if he returns to the field of play. Five wide here for Matt Wilson on third and six from the Sioux Falls 25. They're up by eight, or seven, excuse me. Here is Wilson to throw. Wilson fires deep down the middle, tipped up and incomplete. Had a second chance at it. Fox Highwind did, and Levy is lucky that that one falls to the turf. I thought that one was going to be one of that tip drill that was, uh, I believe it was in week two, that was scored upon uh, the defender uh, tipped it and the receiver took it back for a touchdown. But again, the Sioux Falls defense comes up huge holding them to a field goal. Cole Varner on to extend this to a two-score game. Snap back, hold down, kick on the way from Varner, and it is good from 42 yards. Now 41-31, a 10-point lead for Mexico City. I, I would say, again, that was a win for Sioux Falls defense, uh, holding them to a field goal here. Now you're down two scores, but you have the offense, also the weapons in Colin Hart and Warren and Lewis. You need to get your other two uh, receivers and Terrazas and Dillapri Sr. involved in this football game. Not a target to any one of them. Return here coming off the line, out across the 20-yard line and out to the 24. And that somewhat becomes the issue here, Gerald, is with a run offense like this, Colin Hart is good, but if you find yourself behind in a game like this, you're struggling Tyree only thrown the ball 13 times tonight. Uh, you, you have your offense going through. You're running back, running the football. You can't afford, I think, to get down by more than 10 here. I mean, can you run the ball here? Yeah. But you really got to start throwing the football here to get your uh, get some holes for uh, Colin Hart. Too wide. Here goes Hart, and he's ran down from the backfield. Dexter Jackson, a really good linebacker, runs him down. You mentioned the rookie there. Uh, the rookie, Donnie Watson, but along with Dexter Jackson, makes up this uh, outside linebacking for him. Makes some great, great tackles here. But they got to start throwing the football downfield because since they haven't been throwing the football, Colin Hart has not had a lot of room to run. Two receivers wide. Single back is Hart on second and ten. They give Hart right side. Dropped right there, and it's that man again, Dexter Jackson. Two big plays in a row. Two big plays are up because they have no they're just they're just right now keying on Colin Hart, knowing that that's basically Sioux Falls offense right now. And they gotta find a way to get somebody else involved in this offense. Or it's gonna be a long fourth quarter for Sioux Falls. Tyree fires first down completion right when they needed it most. The catch is made there by AJ Warren out to the 43. The sixth catch by AJ Warren here. In this football game, creeping up on 100 yards has 86 right now. But that was a great throw by Julian Tyree there. Getting uh, the first down and move the sticks here. They're coming close to Mexico City side of the field. Three in the backfield against a 3-3 here for Mexico City. Tyree has Hart. They'll give it to him off this left-hand side of the line. Hart threw one and tackled from behind. Only picks up two. Nice job there out of the defensive backfield. That's Ronnie Watson, the rookie. Mentioned him earlier. Uh, great, great rookie outside linebacker. Comes up with a two-yard stop there. It looked like Hart could have bounced that to the outside and gained a lot more. But a great tackle there by Ronnie Watson. 3-3 look again. Two in the backfield. They'll give Hart right side this time. Angling through and wrapped up there. KT Harrell, these linebackers for Mexico City starting to read the run plays better. Yes, yeah, so earlier in the earlier in the first half and earlier in the third quarter, that 3-3 was getting absolutely 
torched by the Sioux Falls running game. A little bit of maybe misdirection here by the Mexico City defense. And uh, Colin Hart's finding a uh, hard sledding here in the fourth quarter. Four wide here. Tyree under center against a 3-3 look on third and eight. 8.07 to go in the fourth. Tyree looks, fires complete. A.J. Warren, another first down catch there out to the 39. That slant play is absolutely eating uh, the Mexico City defenders up. As you see, there's great pressure there by the 3-3, but again, right there, just absolutely perfectly thrown football. If it went through uh, A.J. Warren's hands, it would have been incomplete. That puts him over 100 yards receiving for the game. And Julian Tyree is looking pretty solid right now on this drive. Two backs in the backfield again. First and 10 from the 39. Give with a block. Hart right side angling. Hart lowers the helmet, has the first down. Has a little bit more than that down to the 24. Hart running strong up near 200. And that's what the passing game will do for you. It'll open up holes for your running back to make some plays here. You see just absolutely just dragging defenders again. As Greg Gaines was hanging on for dear life, both of them were averaging 10 point plus a carry. Now Collins Hart down under seven, but having a tremendous game, almost at 200 yards for the game. Two in the backfield, 3-3 three, three look. They'll give it to him right side with a block. Colin Hart angled it too far uh, east and west, not enough north and south, and Harrell tracks him down. Yeah, great play by KT there to force a second and 10 here. At the 24-yard line, if you're if you're Sioux Falls, you want to protect the football. You might you don't really need to take a chance just yet, but you're in at least three points to get it within a touchdown. Two receivers wide, Hart. They'll give it to him. Stretch play, running right. Hart wrapped up. Wow, nice job by the cornerback to get off the block there. Jack Napier with a great tackle. Oh, I I, I couldn't have said that better myself, Andy. That was just a great. Great read there, run read, just to come up here and just absolutely stuff them for making up another big third down conversion here for Sioux Falls. They're four for seven. Can they make it five for eight? Four receivers wide, 3-3 three, three look here out of the defense. No one in the backfield. Tyree, short drop, pressured, throws, caught, complete. First down yardage down to the seven. Nice catch, the first one of the night for Al Dillapree Sr., about time someone else, uh, another wide receiver, gets involved in this football game. You see Dillipu, great, great. So those slants going to the inside look like they're just wide open all the time. I don't know if they're expecting the linebackers to be dropping back in coverage to take the underneath, but it just seems like they're just picking them apart there, just throwing it across the middle. Two backs in the backfield, one receiver to the top of the formation. Aztecs playing back. Here is the give. Right side. Oh! Walloped at the line. Not going to get there. Nice hit by Greg Gaines. Yeah, Greg Gaines there with the tackle. Brings up second and goal. They're at the two. I think they're giving uh, Colin Hart a breather right there. It looked like that was Freddie Fox that was carrying that football. They're going to bring up second and goal at the two here. And if you're uh, Mexico City, you're probably going to be focusing on number 22, Colin Hart. Hart not in the game. Fox still in the backfield. Too wide. They'll give Fox left side. Freddie Fox into the end zone for the Sparrows. I'm sure Colin Hart doesn't care. It's a touchdown for Sioux Falls. And Freddie Fox, the backup strikes. Oh, Hart has had 30 carries in this game. So he's probably a little winded. But heck, you and I could have, either you or I could have ran that football in with the way they were blocking there. And it's going to bring up an important extra point here for Sioux Falls. They get this and cut it to three. It's still a ball game with 5.04 left. In terms of play clock and time, that felt like a really long drive. Um, and, and Sioux Falls capitalizes with a touchdown. I think that is the key to it in all reality. A 12-play, 76-yard drive. Um, that took a lot of time off the clock. 5.04 to go here in the fourth, and Sioux Falls is within striking distance. That was only the third drive of the second half. So this is only going to be the second time 
Mexico City is going to be touching the ball here in the second half. Both of these teams have been really combined to like take off the clock and being real protective with the football here. Sioux Falls defense now has to show up. Take a knee and start their own 20. Sector 6 is the official apparel provider of the Simulation Football League. Visit Sector6Apparel.com or our website, that is simulationfl.net for replica team jerseys and completely customized jackets, flags, t-shirts, and more that help each team stand out from their opponents, get the gear the fans wear with Sector 6 and the Simulation Football League. You can also use code LOVE20 for 20% off now through Sunday on the Sector 6 website. Give left side to Bentley is going to lose them two yards. And... The shadow for Bentley and Jones all game has been that man, number 92, Nick Fargo. Looked like his second tackle for loss of the game. And this is a big stand. Sioux Falls needs to hold him right here. Split backs, second and 12. Sioux Falls trying to come up with a play. Give up the middle. No good for Jones. It'll bring up third and 12. They're in 12. You see James Kelly with the stop right there. Coming up here on a big third down for both ball clubs. Mexico City needs this first down here to get some of this clock off and uh, hopefully run this game out. Two Falls needs this stop on downs here to get the ball back to their offense. Five wide here for Wilson in the gun. Matt Wilson, seam round, caught! Barrett down to the 46, just what the doctor ordered for the Aztecs. You cannot leave Kale Barrett, the favorite receiver of Matt Wilson, get behind you defensively. He sees it and just lets the ball go. Great pictures right there. The, the ball's out at close to midfield. That was a that was a killer play right there for Mexico City. Seven games between these two teams. Mexico City leads six to one. They've won 86% of those games. The one win for Sioux Falls came in this building back in season nine in 2017 when the Aztecs went on to win the championship. Give to Jones. He'll pick up three. Aztecs trying or excuse me, Sparrows trying to do it again, but they need to stop. Definitely. Oh, Henry with a broken nose out for the rest of this game. And here's an interesting stat you said about the matchup history. The Sioux Falls Sparrows have scored 30 points or more in three of those games. In three of these games, they've lost all three. Very interesting. They have 38 today trying to catch Mexico City's 41. That's a good way to start. Nice tackle there on in the backfield by Nick Fargo. Fargo has just been everywhere that Jones has been, especially when they're trying to run up the middle or just inside the tackles. It seems like he's always been there to either stop either Jones or Bentley. Five wide here on third and seven. Watch the corner route at the top with Barrett. That is what Wilson has been burning Sioux Falls with all day. They do have to snap it before the two-minute warning. Here is the snap. Wilson, pressure, dropped in the backfield. Huge sack for the Sparrows. The big play is made by Cam Frosby. Cam Frosby with a big sack at the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Aztecs on top, Sparrows trying to get back into it. Don't go anywhere. Andy Hamilton along with Gerald Judicesi, Deuce Fennick, and Ike McBride out here doing the stats for us on a chilly evening in South Dakota. Kick away, and the Sparrows will have the opportunity down by three to get back into this game. A field goal could tie it. A touchdown could put them out in front, and an interception could end this game. All the pressure on the veteran. 11 years for Julian Tyree. Uh, that was actually Mexico City's first punt of the football game. Both teams only with one punt, but it's not on the kickers right now. 
It's right now on the arm of Julian Tyree. Four receivers wide here for Tyree under center. He will take a short drop. Tyree across the middle, tipped up, batted around, and incomplete. Oh. Harrell got a hand on it. Eighth year old's been a monster here in the second half with a couple big sticks, a couple pass deflections. Nothing more than a big play right there for her. It's going to bring up second and 10 here with a buck 50 to go. Four receivers wide here for Tyree. He is looking to throw. Fires across the middle. Caught. Spinning catch made there at the 36. They'll go hurry up. Definitely going to go hurry up here and save their timeouts here. Third and two. Big play. Tyree hit as he threw, and it's incomplete. Pressure was coming up the middle there by Lee. Yeah, Brock Lee came up there with the hit, forcing... Julian Tyree to spike the football. It's going to be fourth and two here. This is probably going to be, well, maybe not the game, but it's sure as heck going to put us who falls in some uh, bad way. Sparrows do have three timeouts, but with 96 seconds, they'd be asking a lot of the D. Tyree to throw, caught, complete on fourth and two. He fires it 18 yards downfield to Warren for the first down. That play has been working like butter for uh for two falls here just that little slant route there and i'm surprised they're not rushing up to the line right now here and you have the all three timeouts but time's of the essence you gotta get your uh your players up there on the line quicker man defense against four wide here here is tyree pumps once fires caught on the corner route it's a nice first down gain excuse me it was a slant catch made by terrazas his second of the drive first two of the game Wow, what a uh, what a way to find your tight end here late in the ball game. Why are they taking so much time to get up to the line? Maybe playing for the tie, not the win. Three wide. Here's Tyree on a little scramble drill. Picks up two. Now hurry up. Trying to catch the uh, defense snapping right there, and they got that out perfectly. Tyree to throw, fires across the middle, tipped up and picked, intercepted, erased. Ronnie Watson, the rookie, finishes it off for the Aztecs. What a defensive stand there by Mexico City. And like we said, it's going to come down to a play or a turnover. And guess who made the deflection? Dexter Jackson coming up with a huge pass deflection. And it falls in the hands of the outside linebacker, Ronnie Watson, who I believe that is his first career interception, and it couldn't have come at a better time for the Aztecs. Watson, first career pick, three pass deflections this season, six tackles for loss and 22 tackles coming into the game, and he erases a Sioux Falls lead. They were up at the end of the first by two scores. Unbelievable. Not all they needed to do was really protect the football because, like you said, it looked like they were playing for the tie and just a um, total mistake there by uh, Julian Tyree. They may have a punt here, Gerald. I'm not sure how this will play out here. There is under 25 seconds. Sioux Falls will take the timeout after this third kneel down, so I believe there will be a punt. And you have one of the, like I said earlier in the game, one of only five players in SFL history to have a combined 10 plus kick punt return touchdowns. So this game still isn't over yet. Two falls uses the timeout, so they will they will kick this away. I, I I figured since Mexico City was taking some kneel downs that they they had done the math, but apparently not. You would have imagined that. They could have given it to Phoenix Jones a couple times and, and finished it off with a first down. They elected to take the kneel downs, and they will kick it to A.J. Levy, who, in theory, with 22 seconds, does not have to do it all on his own. They do, they just need to get in range for Falk to tie this thing up. Yeah, but this, this is where a, a block they didn't even send anybody, which I was shocked there. It's going to put the ball at. So they have a couple of seconds to go here, so anything can happen. 
15 seconds. The hard part is, Gerald, their best passing play has been the slants, which goes to the middle of the field. You don't have time for that. I definitely have to do an out pattern here, but if you can get a 20, 30-yard pass here and uh, get out of bounds, you can actually get a chance for your field goal kicker to come on the field here. Three wide, Tyree, five-step drop, pressure coming, has to unload a wobbler, it's caught. Noe Terrazas there at the 48. And yeah, they got they to spike it, they got to spike it. That's Dillapri, excuse me, down to three, down to two, and the spike will go down with one second. Oh. Sioux Falls oh. will have a Hail Mary from the 48. Oh. Wow. I'm like, uh, Tyree's got to get up to that line just a little bit quicker, but tying it perfectly with one second to go. So right here's your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. So can Tyree pull out some magic here with one second to go? Well, was there any other way this could come to an end than on the last play? No. Tyree, a little bit of a low snap, pressure in his face, and he's sacked! Sacked by the Aztecs! The game is over as Brock Lee finishes it off with an, a sack, and the Aztecs win 41-38. to Sioux Falls drops to 0-4. The Aztecs get the win on their home turf. What a game. Unbelievable. As you see, look at the time of possession. Almost dead even. 900-plus yards of offense. Five turnovers in the football game. But it came down basically to Mexico City just having the a little bit more success in the second half here to come up with a ball game. Uh, 41 to 38, as you see on the scoreboard here, Pat Wilson, 347 yards passing, two touchdowns and two picks. Hale Barrett, six catches for 163 yards. And the two touchdowns go to the running back, Phoenix Jones, one receiving, three on the ground, 206 total yards of offense. Uh, Colin Hart, 196 yards of offense on 30 carries. Julian Tyree, 214 on 16 to 24. But the interceptions proved costly, especially the last one, as to basically seal the victory for Mexico City. Aztecs survive and advance to 3 and 1. Sioux Falls falls to 0 and 4. Very interesting to see them have that come after, you know, this, the type of seasons they've had in the last three years. So very interesting stuff as both of these teams take away from this. The Aztecs, you know, they were they were in this thing with Sioux Falls, Gerald. They certainly didn't run away with this. And I think that'll be the storyline coming out for a three and one team to be so close to to tying and or losing to a, uh, a winless team. I mean, that says volumes about them, but tonight, they showed resilience coming back from down. Yes, and both of the interceptions that Tyree threw, the receiver that was targeted was A.J. Warren. And on Valentine's Day weekend, no matter whether you're dealing with heartbreak, heart attack, or uh, heartache, Colin Hart had a good game, and so did Phoenix Jones, the running back who wins player of the game. Four total touchdowns for Phoenix Jones. What a battle between Mexico City and Sioux Falls for all of us here at the SFL. For Gerald Giudicesi, I'm Andy Hamilton. Thank you. Have a good night and enjoy the SFL action that continues tomorrow.